If you're headed to the Kermis Dutch Festival today, you can check out a newly finished attraction to the area. We're talking about the windmill, of course. Pauline's getting a sneak peek look inside this morning. Hi, Pauline. Good morning, guys. So here's the thing. Tours start at 10 o'clock. You get to see the first level, the level that I just came up from. This level you don't get to see. So we're going to show you the exclusive right now, and we've got Larry Jansen to tell us more about it. He's the mill operator. Good morning. Good morning. This is the uh, second level of the mill. This is not part of the tour uh, for safety reasons. Uh, you can see here our horizontal shaft is turning. We have the windmill running outside. Uh, you can see how quiet the mill is. It's kind of amazing to think that this mill was uh, mostly handmade and then uh, fine-tuned by hand. Uh, runs just like a clock practically, uh, but the blades are turning outside and the mill is turning in here and you can't hear nothing and we can have a normal conversation. That is incredible. I was gonna, I was gonna say, Doug and Emily, do you hear anything? But you really don't. It's incredible. The, the other part of this uh, level of the mill is, uh, this is where the uh, wallower right now, which is attached to the grinding wheel, uh, the, right now we have it disengaged so the grinding wheel is not turning. Uh, we'll bring that wallower into the gear teeth on the horizontal sh uh, gear here and uh, that's how we would start to grind the grain. Mm -hmm. um, the, the process that we have is actually I have a link uh, on your web page yeah. on uh, Facebook that I have running and it shows how to uh, grind, the, how we actually grind the grain. Uh, that is video shot from our very first uh, grain grinding. Uh, that's actually a training video that we use. Uh, all the millers have to go through a exclusive training in order to operate the mill. Mm -hmm. And the flour, you already made your first batch of flour. Uh, yes, some of the miller's uh, uh, parents, my mother and father, my mother made some uh, buns, and uh, uh, Todd's uh, mother-in-law made some buns as well. So. so now, what kind of feedback did you hear from them on the flour? Uh, they actually liked it uh, quite a bit. And uh -huh. then be because of the process we have here, uh, there's no gluten in our flour. So. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. It's an, it's an additive that they add to the flour, I guess. Mm -hmm. So tours today, just for today, you're taking donations today, but if you don't make it out today, it's next spring is when this officially opens. Yes, the grand opening for the windmill will be next spring, and today is the dedication <laughs> of the, the plaza, which is between the village hall and the windmill itself. So. And did I, do I, is this correct that you will be selling flour next uh, spring? Next year we will be. We do not have any that we grown uh, uh, this year that we can sell. So now I have to ask. There is a staircase right in front of me here. Where does the staircase lead to? Uh, the staircase goes up to the upper head of the mill. Uh, okay. That's where we have to do the maintenance. Uh, we have to grease the head of the mill. Uh, there's a, a cast iron shaft up there uh, that turns another. This time it would be a vertical gear that drives this this gear here. Um, that has to be uh, the maintenance has to be done on that. Um, also, uh, being fortunate as a miller, we can go up there, we can take the door out, we can see all the way to Scrays Hill and De Pere. Uh, we can see the tower up at High Cliff, so it's kind of uh, unique oh. to see how far you can see from the top of the mill. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. Again, tours start at 10 o'clock. If you don't make it today, you have to wait until next spring. So just head to our website, fox11online.com, for all the information. All right. Thanks, Pauline.